One of the most anticipated cars in Geneva is simply called La Ferrari. With an engine churning out way over 900 horsepower, it's the fastest model in the company's history. And it's the first time the legendary Italian sports car builders have put in an electric drive. I'm very pleased and because I've seen so many people since early morning to see something that uh, will be a car in the Ferrari history. It's the first hybrid. It's a car with the, the most innovative technology, 360 degrees. The technology of the future is a major focus this year at the car show. And there are plenty of automobiles boasting green credentials. The fair's president, Maurice Torrettini, welcomes the trend. We have about 10% of the exposed car that are green cars. Constructors are making a lot of efforts, are investing a lot of money into the new technologies. And every year we have new technologies. With its combined diesel and electric powertrain, Volkswagen's hybrid can travel 100 kilometers on less than a liter of fuel. Next year, the XL1's drive system will feature in mass-produced models. I'm sure that what used to count as green technologies, and of course they're still green, will go more and more mainstream. Now it's a matter of putting them into mass production, democratizing the process and reducing emissions. Only by these large numbers can you have any real effect. The green cars range from two-seaters, like the Toyota iRoad, to Rinspeed's Micromax Multivan. The Geneva Motor Show is also living up to its image of a fair for the rich and famous with a big gasoline-powered Rolls-Royce. Lamborghini has in turn unveiled a model with a beefy 750 horsepower engine. This flexing of motor muscle is the result of a search to find the best materials. You know, we have to look for the best materials. And the best materials are not yesterday's materials, they're tomorrow's and today's. So for me, I think uh, whatever is the best you want to have. The three-time Formula One champion is drawn more to the new McLaren P1, a hybrid car that achieves a proud 916 horsepower with added electric motors. What we're very pleased we've developed is a system which not only delivers very good CO2 figures and very good EV, but it also really adds to the driving experience of the car because it adds to the performance of the car. What I don't want is to lose my DNA, Ferrari DNA, but if you can combine both as we did in this car, it's fantastic because from one side you have passion, technology, emotion of driving, performance, technology. From the other side, you have a big, big improvement in terms of ecology. These car makers have written motor racing history. Now they're pioneers in a new market. Green cars that can cost a million euros or more. When you're doing a car like this, you're able to push the boundaries of technology because you actually have the budget to do that. When you have a supercar race like we have in 2013 with McLaren and Ferrari all coming to market the same, we have put we've pushed technology forward and, and and that's what you need you need competition you need the competition to push technology forward and because i don't want to i don't want to be standing here saying mine's the slowest car and it's not mine's going to be the quickest car indeed ferrari and other big names prove that environmentally friendly doesn't have to be a drag but then again these new cars certainly have their price